Hi everybody, it's Damon from Fender here in the buffering room giving you a sneak preview of some of the super cool new gear that's just coming out. Uh, this is the first time that I've seen this stuff. It's very exciting, it's very, very new for 2012. So the first thing we're going to have a quick look at, a quick run through, is the brand new Superchamp X2 amplifier, uh, which is a 20 watt, 1 by 10 amp, uh, with two channels. First channel is a straight through valve channel. It sounds fantastic on its own with pedals in front of it. The second channel has uh, lots of emulations of classic amps through the years. Uh, everything from classic Fender amps to more kind of British uh, rock amps and some US high gain kind of stuff as well. Uh, and a fully featured uh, digital effects section as well with a tap tempo. So your delays and your tremolos, you can tap your tempo there, you can see it flash. Get everything in time with the track that you're playing. Uh, has a fully emulated uh, quarter inch output at the back so you can plug it into a PA. I've done this quite a lot at shows, it sounds amazing through a big PA. And it also now comes with a USB hub which means you can download the free Fender Fuse software and really get in and have a lovely graphic interface to change all the amp modelling and the effects uh, right there on your PC or Mac, of course. So, how does it sound? Well, let's have a little look first at the straight through valve channel. So, it's got no emulations, just as it is, guitar straight in. This is one of our lovely new Squire vintage modified 70s strats. So, a little bit of delay there, so you can hear. I'll change the pickup settings. Fender clean channel. Um, bright, sparkly, loads of definition. Um, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. We're in a fairly small room, but let's crank the volume a little bit so you can hear what it's like when it's turned up. This is how you might have it, for instance, in a little rehearsal or a jam with your friends. <laughs> all the bite and the sparkle at the top end, but it's just starting to bite a little bit. You've got a little bit of drive and a little bit of compression going on there. So that sounds fantastic. So we've got there straight through valve channel turned all the way up to 10. We like to turn it all the way up to 10 when we can. Okay, so let's just have a little quick look at the effects section where we've got this lovely classic spanky Fender clean sound. We've obviously got uh, things like vibratone. A little bit of rotation there from your wobbly speaker cabinet. Or a little bit more psychedelic freak out. Type. rotation speaker we've got there. Then we have our delay settings, which is great because we have tap tempo. Short or okay so we can have it as long as we want or as short as we want. I like it short. Mixtures, delays, and courses them together. Lovely 
round here we've got, for instance, reverb, chorus and delay together. <laughs> Section. We've also, of course, got tremolo. What Fender amp is complete without a bit of tremolo goodness? Really easy to use, tap tempo for all the time based delays uh, and an FX adjust as well. So let's go over to the second channel and have a little look and sound at some of the amp modelling. So we change over to channel two here. Uh, the first few are all um, classic Fender amps, so we've got like tweed stuff, like a basement. I love a basement. So you can hear it straight away, very, very different from what we had before. Turn the gain up a little bit. Uh, one of my favourite amps of all time, Great Blackface Princeton. Take the gain down, turn the volume up. Give it a spank and a bit more sparkle. sounding amps, I think you know what I mean by that. So let's turn the gain up a little bit, we've got the perfect guitar for this. champ right the way through some kind of heavier meatier classic British rock sounds um, all in a very cool very portable uh, and very tweakable package so if you like your pedals you can use your straight in tube uh, tube channel there and use some drive pedals in front of it but the second channel has all that great emulation of those classic amps on it so for practicing at home uh, for recording for rehearsals the new super champ x2 it's a fantastic amp and you should check it out 